I think that's it. So let's move on to the next. And this is actually three different questions, but they're all about GWKs or glitched wall kicks. Okay, wow. <laughs> I need to get back into the plaza for this one, which is kind of annoying to do on these practice codes. All right, so uh, I'll read off all three of those questions. So first, uh, this is an anonymous question. Can you explain GWKDs? I can perform GWKs, but I haven't quite figured out how to dive there. And then Chai Kitty asks, how to GWK consistently in real time? Uh, and they actually show, uh, they included a video showing uh, Nindere doing a GWK. In Bianco 4, I think. But yeah. I know what a GWKD is. And I'll show it off to you guys. So we don't need to watch that. And then another anonymous question asking, How do you perform a GWKD? What are the button inputs? Alright, so there's two things here. First is a regular glitchy wall kick. And the second is a glitchy wall kick dive. Now, uh, the two techniques are very similar. Um, so let's focus on the easier one first, which is the GWKD, uh, or the glitchy wall kick. Now, a glitchy wall kick is a reverse wall kick, alright? So if you wall kick, you normally, you kick off of the wall, uh, at the exact opposite angle that you hit the wall, right? So if I hit it like this, I'll jump off like that. And if I hit it straight on, I'll jump straight back. But, um, you can use the Y camera in order to change the direction of your jumps, as we've already seen earlier. And you can do that with a wall kick. And it might be a little hard to see here, but I'm actually wall kicking towards the building. So, I'm wall jumping in the same direction. and. This, it's kind of different when you're at an angle. It reverses the wall kick, so... Um, if I approach the wall like this, normally I would jump off in this direction. But if I do a GWK, I will go in this direction, right? So it's a full 180. Uh, I can try to show that off on this corner, maybe. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, an easy way to like kind of get a better idea of it is like this. As you can see, I'm jumping onto the roof with the GWK instead of jumping away from it. So how do you do a GWK? Um, like I said, it uses the Y camera. But uh, you don't press Y after you walk kick. You actually press it before you walk kick. So um, if you look at the input display right now, you'll be able to see I press Y slightly before I press A. And that's how a GWK is done. Now this is something that you'll have to practice and you'll have to get a feel for it. But um, basically what I do, and let me switch to the camera for this real quick. So what I do on the controller is I, I roll my thumb like this. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But it's like a single move. You keep your, uh, kind of the, the top of your thumb on Y, and then you roll it down and hit the A button with kind of the middle of your thumb. That's how I do it. That's the inputs for a GWK. And it's gonna take you some practice, but, uh, you can get very consistent at it. The hardest part is anticipating when you're going to hit the wall. So as you can see, there I actually messed it up. But yeah, if you end up pressing A too early or something, then you're just not going to get a wall kick at all. Uh, you can wait until you slide on the wall, of course. That works. But yeah, in general, you're going to want to do them very fast. So yeah, that's what a GWK is, and that's how to do it. And so next up is the GWKD, which is a glitchy wall kick dive, which is exactly the same, except you also do a dive. So the thing about GWKDs is that you have to press an extra button, right? So instead of just rolling your thumb from Y to A, you're also rolling it onto the B button. 
So you're pressing Y, A, B, all in very quick succession, which makes it a lot harder. But the general inputs are the same. You just take along an extra button. And then I'm actually failing it right now. These are a bit more difficult, for sure. Usually not this bad. <laughs> wow, okay. This is a good building to practice them on, because you can dive over the building. There we go. That was a GWKD. But yeah, like I said, these are a lot more specific. Because you need to add an extra button, and you have a very short amount of time. I actually went too early there. You have a very short amount of time to press all the buttons. Because you need to uh, press all three buttons, I think, within three frames of each other. So... Uh, obviously, needing to do three button presses in that time span is a lot more challenging. Now, luckily, there's not really any speedrun strats that use the GWKD. There are a few, um, but I would definitely not recommend any of those for beginners. And honestly, I can't even think of any off the top of my head right now that use the GWKD. So, really mostly, it's just something that you want to learn for swag. It's not very useful in the speedrun. It's not used in a lot of places. Uh, you use your left hand to hit B. That's interesting, Ribbit. That's definitely a possibility. But I wouldn't find that very comfortable. Because <laughs> you'd have to move your... You'd have to move your entire hand off of the control stick. So you would lose a lot of control that way. Uh, having to move your grip around. Noki 2 IL strat. Yeah, for instance. There's definitely a bunch of uh, individual level strats where GWKDs are used, because they can be pretty fast in certain situations. To get the blue coin. Uh, that's actually a- that is a thing. I'm not sure if it's even faster, but yeah. You can use the GWKD to dive over this building and get to this blue coin faster. That is true. 